You're watching KREX 5 News. Okay, on this Tuesday, we really won't lose that sun in Grand Junction until after this broadcast. So we have another 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to go. Now, as far as temperatures go, I feel pretty confident, even though these haven't been released official. We hit 38 today, low 40s. That's where we should be for this time of the year. This just represents the cooling today. We go colder tomorrow, and then the mornings for later this week are going to be very cold. That's the message I've been telling you for the last 24 hours. 37 today in Montrose, 41. That's where we should be. Now, it won't be until Sunday, Monday that we get back to these averages, and it'll feel better. We'll have clear skies later this week. It's just that we're going to get hit with some Arctic air. High temperature today for Delta, 40. We had mid-20s at Gunnison, also mid-20s up in Craig today, though Craig was a little bit warmer. 27 there, Gunnison checking in with 24 degrees. Right now, it's 22 in the Gunnison Valley with low 20s in the Roaring Fork Valley, low 30s primarily along the Highway 50 corridor. Delta still being stubborn with temperatures near 40 degrees, but that's where we've been for the last couple of days. So feels pretty good. That wind has been kicking around out of the northeast. Uh, that's kind of a cool influence. Uh, five. 15 mile per hour wind speeds right now. Top wind gusts of the day haven't been realized in my opinion, but we're about the 15 mile per hour zone in a few areas. I anticipate up to 25 miles per hour is possible between now and tomorrow afternoon with the passage of this cold front ahead of and behind. So that wind tomorrow will play a tricky number on us because it's going to feel a lot colder, significantly colder than the temperatures. Now we still are on track. We have winter storm warnings in the San Juan Mountains, but also this entire southern third of the state doing very well with storm coverage. These are the mountain zones that should get the deeper snow totals, though you can see right along the I-25 corridor. They've actually upgraded, and this is the Boulder and the Pueblo weather office upgraded from a weather advisory to a winter storm warning. So again, I urge you, if you don't necessarily have to travel up and over the mountain passes to get to the front range for business or whatever, try to avoid it altogether. Even Highway 50 eastbound out of Gunnison, it's going to be very difficult. Travel advisories certainly in place in these areas highlighted in pink. You should expect delays, closures, accidents, the usual suspects for the winter. Now for Montrose, speaking of winter, we have this snow potential up to two inches possible and that's a one inch increase from yesterday's forecast so one to two inches very possible uh, starting around the midnight hour through early tomorrow morning now granted we'll have some lingering showers tomorrow afternoon but i think most of that snow for montrose will have fallen by the time you get started tomorrow morning so make plans could be a bit of a delayed start for you and tomorrow morning not even the coldest temperatures uh, grand junction left out and so is the northwest corner of colorado left out high and dry, if you will. This storm system is primarily to our east. Drier air, though, is battling along the I-70 corridor, so some of those snow totals may change between uh, the forecast and the realization in the next 24 to 18 hours, 18 to 24. Still, though, we're hanging on just barely. Deeper totals, obviously, in the mountain zone, so please be careful. And as always, if you're heading into the backcountry to recreate, be mindful of the avalanche danger. It is very real, and especially after this round of winter. Now, with this, we have the system that's going to pass through primarily for the southern zones, and it's going to keep chugging to the southeast and off towards the east coast. We are left with cold temperatures. We're going to get Arctic air dragged down Thursday morning. We'll feel it Wednesday afternoon, but Thursday morning, Friday morning, the afternoons as well through the end of the week. It's going to be significantly colder. In some instances, 20 to 30 degrees below the normal. And I shared with you those normal numbers, low 40s. So you get down to 20 degrees for some of our high temperatures, and that's cold. Tomorrow morning, uh, we're supposed to be near 20. Single digits in the Gunnison and in the Roaring Fork Valley. Uh, Mid-teens for Grand Junction, Delta, Montrose. Again, that's colder than we should be, but that's not the coldest we're going to get. And then, of course, tomorrow afternoon compared to today, we're on the opposite end of the 30s for Grand Junction. Mid-teens for Gunnison, 20s in the Glenwood Springs area, and a significant drop for Montrose. So we'll see freezing temperatures for the next couple of afternoons. Very chilly starts. Thursday, Friday, even getting into the weekend, even though the afternoon temperatures recover, the morning lows will be difficult to overcome until the start of next week. We still have that snow chance for Montrose. It should be done by mid morning. Uh, we'll be lingering with clouds and very cold temperatures all the way through the end of this week. Dry conditions and sunshine. That's your upcoming weekend.